Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Linear Algebra Tutor. We're finally going to start talking about eigenvectors and eigenvalues. I've given you a little motivation, trying to get you a little bit of uh, interest in, in how these might be useful to you. Now we're going to actually jump into it. So we'll just jump right on into it, which typically we'll see in a book. This is called the eigenvalue problem. All right, basically, if you have a matrix A, times some column vector x, which these are lots of unknowns, don't forget, this is a matrix equation, and it's equal to what we call lambda x. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, that is the eigenvector problem. If you understand everything there is to know about this equation, then you understand eigenvectors and eigenvalues. So it looks deceptively simple. Uh, let's jump into a little bit of the details, okay? This x here is called the eigenvector, and this lambda here is called the corresponding eigenvalue. The, basically, the way that this works in real problems is in order to find the eigenvectors, you have to first find the eigenvalues. Those are just numbers, okay? Once you find the eigenvalues, then you can find the corresponding eigenvectors. And that's why I say eigenvectors and values go together like peanut butter and jelly. For a given eigenvalue, which is just a number, you get a corresponding set of eigenvectors. For the, the next eigenvalue that you have, you have another corresponding set of eigenvectors. And remember, these eigenvectors, uh, for instance, for principal axis of rotation, gives you the direction of symmetry in objects. So that's just one example, but I think it's good to have some grounding. Um, let's take a little bit of a, 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 a closer look at this. The eigenvalues, these are just scalars. Right? And so the eigenvector, I'm not going to write it there, but it's a vector. The word eigen is it's a German prefix. Don't worry so much about what that means, but it, it, basically these are special vectors associated with this matrix and special values associated with this matrix. What do you think makes them special? What it's basically saying is if I take the matrix A and I multiply it by an eigenvector x, okay, then when I get on the right-hand side is the same eigenvector but multiplied by a scalar. So it's a special solution of the matrix where when you put that vector into the left-hand side of the equation, you get the same vector back but just scaled by, an, by a value, the value that we call uh, the eigenvalue. All right? That's why it's called eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So make sure you understand that. Just conceptually what it is is a special solution uh, of this equation such that when, if you stick it back in the left, you get the same thing out but scaled times a constant. And remember, these are vectors. They point in the same direction, right? X and X point in the same direction. And even if you take X and multiply it by a number, it's still going to point in the same direction. So what it is is a vector that points in a certain direction. You stick it in the left. You get back another vector that points in the same direction.